Listen, don't buy high ground keyboards unless you can handle these four things. Today we're breaking down the keyboards by high ground. High Ground is a premium gaming keyboard company acquired by 100 Thieves that delivers on superior feel, design, and acoustics. The company definitely knows how to use hype mentality to get people excited about their keyboards. In the beginning, High Ground was known for their limited availability for their keyboards that they were producing. Limited quantity means high demand, so it got a lot of people talking about who High Ground is and if their keyboards are actually worth it. I decided to get my hands on a keyboard and this is my breakdown of the four things you need to make sure you can handle before buying a keyboard. Now before we get into those four points, I just kind of want to tell you my experience. I've been gaming for five years on PC. I've used a bunch of different types of keyboards. I've had experience with $150 keyboards. I've had experience with $50 ones. I've had experience with $25 ones off of Amazon. I've had experience right in the middle and I think High Ground has something pretty good here. I wanted to make sure that I was getting something of high quality but also not paying a super, super high price. Price. So this is my breakdown. The very first keyboard I ever got into was a Strafe keyboard by Corsair. It was a huge thing. I thought I was a complete gamer because I had all the keys in the world. And after a year or two, I decided to kind of graduate from there. The second keyboard I ever owned was a Ducky One Too Mini. It was a really, really good $100 entry level keyboard that I put a lot of use into. It was a 60% keyboard, so nice and compact, had a ton of room to be able to move my mouse around as I was trying to figure out my aim. After a couple years, I kind of got tired of the plasticky feel of the Ducky One Too Mini. I wanted to elevate it a little bit, have something that looks nice on my desk as well as feel like high, high quality. And that's when I started venturing into high ground. Also stay tuned, I have a surprise reveal of a real limited edition high ground keyboard that I own. Point number one is quality. Now the first thing that you can feel is just the weight of it because it is made with an aluminum plate. The switches are prelude. A lot of the videos that you'll see say that they barely put like a sand drop amount on there. I could definitely still feel the difference with from the other keyboards that I've owned. And as a dad, I really don't have the time to be doing all that customization. I do like the USB-C port is right in the middle of the keyboard gives you some wiggle room in terms of the placement of the keyboard on your setup. From this specific version of their keyboards, you could tell that they placed some extra foam in there to make it real nice and silent. Overall, this keyboard feels real strong, feels like it could last forever, and I'm excited to use it more. They have little nice touches on their keyboards like their logo, the collaborations that they do, as well as having side profile printed keycaps. They have high ground engraved on the backside here. For the limited drops, each keyboard is numbered, so it's kind of neat to know what specific number of the drop you have out of however many they actually produced. And overall out of the box the quality is just there point number two of what you got to make sure you can handle is customization as someone who doesn't really mess with complete customizable keyboards buying all the pieces and the parts i find that high ground is a great entry level customization hot swapping modding type keyboard where you can really get your hands involved with something that is already in a pretty good state and elevate it or at least learn about keyboards in general so a keyboard like this is really really intriguing for me because i can get good quality, get good customization that is already kind of out of the box and go from there. Some of the things that come in the box is a keycap puller and a switch puller. You have hot swappable switches, switchable keycaps. Some of their boards have some dampening foam. All of them have that side ninja print lettering, different types of switches that you can purchase from them or other companies to really dive into the customization of your board. Full customizable RGB lighting, which has a huge range of color and type of RGB that you can display on your keyboard and some macro programming, but I'm not gonna get into that. One smart move I think High Ground did was going from the 60 to 65% to include those arrow keys. It really just feels like it's the perfect fit on your desk as well as having the widest range of usage on your keyboard. The third thing that you gotta make sure you can handle is the price. With high ground, I can kind of understand their price points, but it can be hard for the usual regular consumer to dish out a hundred plus dollars on a keyboard. But as high ground has evolved, they have both their limited and always available keyboards, which helps with the price ranges that they offer. The keyboards they currently have available range between 120 to 145. They also offer some bundle discounts where if you also get one of their mouse pads or you use one of their creator codes, which I'll put a couple down here, you can get anywhere between 
between 10 and 15 percent off and if you catch them on a good holiday sale you might even get a keyboard for less than 100 bucks i think for what you're getting for the keyboard the price point is right on point it's not super super expensive but you can also experience and get quality for what you're paying for so you're putting the money towards something that's actually going to last you a while and can be customized and changed up as the years go on they have some super exclusive limited edition keyboards that range 300 to 350 bucks you won't catch me spending that much on a keyboard but they're out there have a little bit of extra specs and cool things about them check them out for yourself point number four if you can't handle the addictiveness of buying keyboards then don't buy high ground keyboards i find myself at every single drop wanting to buy a new keyboard I've been able to hold myself back, but I did spoil myself on one keyboard and it was actually the very first one I ever got. I got lucky and this was the limited edition one that I was telling you guys about that I got my hands on and I'm gonna show you it right now. Now I got lucky enough to get my hands on the Levi edition of the AOT High Ground Collaboration. This board is absolutely sick. One of the things that High Ground really excels on is with their collaborations and the print of the keyboards. They know how to capture a cool aesthetic, a nice feel, and something that could really stand out, not only for yourself, but when other people come and check out your desk setup too. I've seen some really cool combinations of different keycaps involved with this actual setup. They came out with a Titan keyboard as well, and I've seen both the Titan and Levi showed up on a one specific keyboard. They've had some really cool collaborations like with Sonic, Street Fighter, Pricks, Attack on Titan, Titan, and they're really elevating the game on what it means to get something that is high quality, fully customizable in the hands of the regular day dad and consumer. Now, one of the cool additions that they did come out with was a special keycap here that is in red with the high ground logo. I decided to cop it as a gift to myself, and I feel like it really complements the Levi board very, very well with the red accents involved. I switch out my keyboards from time to time. This is more of like my prized possession accent piece that I keep in my room and kind of stare out from time to time. This one, this one is definitely a lot more clickier than my Pricks keyboard. But depending on the day and the mood, I switch between the two pretty consistently. Let me know which one you would prefer to game with, either the Pricks silent keyboard or the AOT collab with High Ground Levi edition. They're both super solid keyboards. I think High Ground has a lot of potential with where they're heading, especially in the peripherals. They just released mouse pads, which I got their performance mouse pad and it's really nice, sleek, and doesn't slip at all. And as you can probably guess and tell, this is probably a setup for their own mouse that they're gonna come out with too. Let me know what you think and uh, I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling a little generous today. If we can get, uh, let's say 200 likes on this video, type bless up in the comments. We will give away their Basecamp 65 keyboard to one of you lucky, lucky viewers. Just make sure you subscribe, comment bless up down below and we'll make it happen. Now that's my honest breakdown on high ground keyboards. Big fan, looking forward to what's next. And that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.